Alright, there we go. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Don Dykenuk, and uh, uh, I'm filming from, uh, re reporting from. Re Good morning. My name is Don Dykenuk, and I'm re reporting from downtown Reno in Reno, Nevada. And right behind me is a famous Reno Arch, known for the famous moniker "the biggest little city in the, Reno, the biggest little city in the world." And today is Monday, December 16th. And this is my report on this week on politics in northern Nevada, Reno, and nationally and internationally, for my take here. So, I'll go ahead and start locally. Uh, namely, what's going to happen this week here locally in northern Nevada and in Reno that I'm aware of, or that I know of at the moment, at this time at about 1 in the morning. So today, um, Monday, uh, Monday, December 16th, um, the local uh, Republican Party will be holding a special meeting uh, around 5 or 6 o'clock tonight in South Reno to basically decide whether or not to do something that they don't normally do until after uh, primaries to go ahead and endorse a candidate in a local assembly race, uh, state assembly race, namely a one in Sparks uh, for assembly uh, 30. Assembly uh, for the current Assembly District, which is current uh, Assembly District 32, uh, which is currently uh, being uh, represented by uh, current incumbent Skip Daly, who happens to be a Democrat, and namely the Republicans' intent at the moment is to clear the way to ensure a clear, well, namely a clear, a clear primary for their preferred candidate at the moment, which their preferred candidate appear at least the intent of the, that they'd like to make clear at the meeting tonight is uh, to go ahead and endorse a Jake Whisk uh, Whiskerchen. I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly. I probably haven't, but just wanted to go ahead and give that you know clear that uh, apology ahead of time. That's their intent in tonight's meeting. We'll see if that will pass muster or if the body decides to do otherwise. Otherwise, um, besides. Another issue that uh, another event uh, that's on the topic list is uh, the, uh, the, this coming week there'll be several uh, Democratic presidential candidates coming through the northern coming through Nevada, namely Southern Nevada, uh, from Pete Buttigieg, South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg, to uh, U.S. Senator uh, from New Jersey, Junior U.S. Senator from Jersey. Uh, Cory Booker, who will be holding several several events in Las Vegas, and U.S. Senator uh, Bernie Sanders of Vermont will be holding several events, culminating on Saturday with a major event with uh, campaigning with uh, New York Congresswoman and famous uh, progressive uh, 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 icon and celebrity, well, uh, well cele oh. so, uh, current progressive. Uh, Political leader, you could say, to a degree, an opinion leader, uh, Alexandria Cortez, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, or AFC as, she, as she's famously known as. Uh, that will be occurring on Saturday, from my understanding, in Las Vegas. Nationally, now, the reason why I decided to use my hometown moniker as uh, an icon is because something of major import is occurring, and I figured I might as well leave, might as well have a major icon in the background. It's on Wednesday. In the U.S. House is scheduled to take up the articles of impeachment, and I figured again, major milestone, major event, major, major landmark. This will be the fourth time that a sitting president will be subject or possibly subject to impeachment, and the way things are going, it looks like that an impeachment will possibly pass with mainly a majority of Democratic votes, um, and likely no Republican votes. And in fact, um, at the moment, there is whispers and possibly, well, not just whispers, but confirmed uh, reports from CNN to major networks that a uh, Democratic legislator from New Jersey by the name of Jeff Van Drew um, is proposing to switch parties as a result of this. Uh, namely, um, it's kind of 
generated some degree of consternation. And even um, the chairman of the uh, House Judiciary Committee, Jerry uh, Nadler of New York, has suggested the reason why that Van Drew may be switching is that he doesn't think he could survive a primary because he's not popular, not representing the constituents or representing his base. Again, that's subject, but not that's not my opinion. That's what Mr. Nadler has said recently on several morning shows. Um, concurrently, uh, there's also an upcoming Democratic Party Democratic uh, presidential debate that will be featuring. Uh, actually, I'm going to go back to the debate. Actually, to the impeachment. Sorry, I got ahead of myself. Um, the impeachment, the upcoming impeachment vote will likely uh, carry nothing but Democratic votes. And obviously it will probably be the kind of the end up shutting Washington down, for lack of a better word, because essentially this is one of these events that has a tendency of sucking the air out of the room and kind of setting the agenda for the time being, for whatever time it takes. So naturally as it gets from the House, it will go to the Senate, which at the moment the votes appear to be clear that it looks that uh, the president would be acquitted as the Democrats currently have 47 votes and the Republicans have 53. That's at the moment, at least projections from um, media reports and popular, public opinion, popular opinion. As public opinion on the issue is rather split on whether the president should be removed. Although most two out of three Americans apparently agree, uh, according to public opinion polls, ranging from uh, public opinion polls, agree that the president may have done uh, public opinion polls say that the public is it clear that the they see the president may have done something wrong in regards to the um, events leading uh, from the Ukraine um, issues namely um, the, whether or not the president did something wrong in withholding aid to the government of Ukraine in regards to defense defensive and offensive weapons and the two articles of impeachment are basically hinging upon whether hinging on obstruction of Congress and basically using mis abusing uh, uh, abuse of power. Those are basically the topics that the House is going to be voting on and carrying on to the Senate. Um, yes, now to the Democratic debate, which will be going on later on in the next week or so, um, which will be taking care of, taking place at La Jolla Marymount University in Southern California, namely, name, namely near LA. Um, there is talk that um, seven, the seven candidates who are who've, who are eligible for the debates, namely Joe Biden, for, uh, former Vice President Joe Biden, uh, U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren from Massachusetts, U.S. Senator uh, Bernie Sanders from Vermont, uh, South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg, uh, U.S. Senator uh, Amy Klobuchar from Ma from from from, from uh, sorry. Minnesota, Tom, uh, Democratic, uh, Democratic uh, philanthropist and activist and climate change activist Tom Steyer, and uh, entrepreneur, uh, tech entrepreneur uh, Andrew Yang are the seven likely candidates who have qualified for the debate. Um, they have indicated that they will likely not attend the debates due to a current strike that's going on at um, La Jolla Marymount University, namely uh, with the local 11 um, and, their co and their current uh, disagreement with the con subcontractor Sodexco and La Jolla Marymount University. That right now is in the air and will probably be settled later in the week. Stay tuned. Don't have an answer for you on that, but just laying in on that. And then um, I want to swing back to the UK election, which I mentioned about last week. The results of that came in, and this is how it came down. The Tories won. The Conservative Party ended up the great largest party in the House of Commons with 365 votes, followed by a Labour with 203 votes, that being their worst result since two nights in living memory. That result actually is worse than Michael Foot's result in 1983. Uh, where the Labour Party got 209 votes in that election, I believe. The Liberal Democrats ended up with 11 seats, not votes, seats, sorry, seats in all those occasions, and lost their leader in Dunbar's in Dunbar's and Sure Eats East in Joe Swinson, who was defeated by a mere couple hundred votes in that in that race. 
right now the Liberal Democrats are now represented by two, uh, their executive leadership at the moment, who, were, who had to kind of step in at the last minute. And by the result of losing her seat, she lost her leadership position and and if there are other titles involved in that. Um, the Brexit party, no surprise, according to the polling, the, the polling data that was announced before the election that came out in November, came accurate. No seats. Their attempt at trying to win the seat in uh, Hartlepool with Richard Tice came short. That's kind of what happened. That was their best shot, and they didn't come very close at that, unfortunately, for them in that situation. And the SNP ended up with 48 seats, which is setting off a bit of a constitutional crisis because the SNP won nearly every other seat in Scotland except for one or two, and clearly wiped out every other party uh, in Scotland except for themselves. And this constitutional crisis is that they are making a mandate that they want a second referendum, and likely current Prime Minister Boris Johnson will not give it to them considering the fact that he feels that the, 19, the 2015 referendum that the Conservative Party offered under the, go the Cameron government was sufficient and was a quote-unquote once-in-a-generation offer and once-in-a-generation referendum. The, the Tory government or the current government at the moment has indicated no desire to continue with that. And the Green Party kept their one seat and didn't, and didn't grow from their gains, the current gains from that. Um, again, going back to, to the election uh, results, um, the, the Labour Party uh, leader, De Jeremy Corbyn, on the night of the election, namely the morning of the election, at his, con his constituency count at Islington, announced that he would be stepping down and until a new la leader would be taking, until a new leader could take his place. And again, Joe Swinson lost her seat, and subsequently the Liberal Democrats are now leaders, leaderless which now leaves Boris Johnson with a strikingly large mandate and the clear ability to do what he said he would do in the election to get Brexit done. That being said, um, let's see, getting, uh, that being said, um, where am I? Uh, um, that's, uh, that, that leaves the British election, so... Stay tuned for that, and uh, again, the Queen's Speech, will, go for, we'll, we'll see what the Queen's Speech will look like, and we'll go from there. Um, and currently, I'm going to come back to the States, um, where um, talk of a government shutdown still something to concern, be a concern about, but again, as of Thursday uh, the 12th, there was an announcement made that the, uh, there was a tentative deal to possibly get 12, 12 of those bills done. 12 uh, funding bills possibly passed, um, or at least get, come to a general agreement in principle. The only thing that's missing is general agreement from nearly 600 Pennsylvania Avenue, and the president hasn't given an indication whether or not the terms are amenable to him at the moment. But stay tuned. The fun, the, the, a, those 12 funding bills needs, uh, or a, continu a continuing resolution needs to get, excuse me, needs to get through the House and the Senate by the 20th by midnight otherwise the government runs out of money and we have another shutdown again and considering that the shut that the impeachment is on Wednesday there's no telling what could happen in that the impeachment has the capacity of shutting all legislative work and everything down to a grinding halt and that's all I got for you this week so if there's anything I've missed that I should pay attention to or I should pay attention to, feel free to let me know. Um, then uh, write me at uh, Don D, uh, uh, write me at Don Don Dykenuko at Twitter dot com, at Twitter, and or uh, send me a message or at uh, Don DD at YouTube dot com or Don Student Don account at uh, Instagram dot com. Otherwise, thanks. Thanks for letting me. Uh, thanks for doing. Letting me endure myself freezing outside. Have a great week. Take care.